Amla fruit is also known as Amlaki and Indian gooseberry. The fruit is called the mother in Ayurveda due to its support to the entire body, mind and immune system. It can also be said as an inexpensive superfood. In Ayurveda, it is classified as Rasaya which means that it has restorative properties. The herb is widely used as a medicinal plant in Ayurveda. So today in this video, we are going to talk about Amla Amlaki or some of the people say Indian gooseberry in some outer continents. So let's talk about this and let's know more about all the benefits and the side effects of Amlaki. So guys, this is Varun and I welcome you all in the 146th episode of Tuesday Talks. Amla is known as a rich source of nutrients, minerals, vitamins, vitamin C and all the things listed over here. These are present in good amount of antioxidants and also these are present in Amlaki. It's very good for uh, all the things listed. Now let's see what are the health benefits of Amla. It improves immunity, it improves eyesight. It is widely used as a hair fall and skin diseases. It is widely used for all these things. Because of its high vitamin C content, it is traditionally been used as a seasonal uh, thing for cough and influenza. So you guys can consume it over there. It fights infection and prevent chest congestion. People suffering there must take it. It prevents constipation and digestion also and it is very good for weight loss and obesity. It is used as a high cholesterol and it is a natural blood sugar with also it is an diuretic and removes excessive toxins from the body. So if you have some toxin it, this thing will remove it. It will also help you to control your joint pains and swelling in your joint pains. Also, it works on skin disorders that causes white patches and develops on the skin, hardening of the arteries, swelling which means inflammation and of the pancreas and also pancreatitis also known as in uh, the medical terms. It has some of the high healing properties. So let me talk on that such as anti-inflammatory, anti-diabetic, anti-fungal, anti-viral and anti-bacterial properties Amla consists of. Now let's see what Ayurveda Chara has to say about it because in every video I give you an Ayurvedic point of view. So let's talk about that. In Ayurveda, Amla is believed to tonify the heart, brain and support healthy blood sugar levels and protect the strengthening of the liver and the digestive system. System. It is very good over there. It is widely used to cure gastritis, ulcer, heartburn and acid reflux. The herb contains of high levels of vitamin C. Therefore, it is known as the immunity, like immunity booster and it, it fights off the free radicals. It is a strong natural antioxidant. Therefore, it is known as it has it is known for some anti-aging benefits. It is beneficial in preventing cancer and cell damage. So you guys can take. You know guys, according to Ayurveda Charya or according to Ayurveda, a balanced diet needs to contain all the six tastes which are rasa at every meal to create good health uh, that are sour, sweet, bitter, pungent, uh, astringent and salty. So these are uh, the six tastes and Amlaki is the only food that contains all the five except the saltiness, except the salty rasa. Imbalance of vat, pit and kaf dosh these give rise to more than 140 health diseases altogether and Amla helps to balance all the three uh, which is Vat, Pitta and Kapha Dosh. So beneficial over there. According to Ayurveda Chara, for diseases free life, Amla must be consumed every day as a food. It is also readily available in tablet, powder, juice, candy, uh, murabba, pickles and in many forms in the market. It is also major component of Chavan Prasha Pok. Approximately 3 to 4 Amla fruit or 10 to 20 ml of juice or 3 to 6 grams of Amla powder can be consumed in day to day life. So you guys can take it. Now let's talk about some side effects because everything has a pros and cons. So let's talk about the side effects of Amla. Due to antiplatelet properties, Amla can thin your blood and prevent normal blood clotting. So it might increase the risk of bleeding or bruising in some of the people. If you have bleeding disorders or uh, like you are taking some blood thinner medicines, so take it with caution. 
Amla might increase the risk of bleeding during and after the surgery. Uh, stop taking Amla at least two weeks before if you have a surgery scheduled or something. Amla lowers the body temperature to a great extent. Thus, eating a, a fruit that can worsen the uh, symptoms of a cold as it is a natural coolant. So, you guys should take care over there. And also, few people might be allergic to Amla. A person who is allergic to this food might experience certain health issues. Uh, these are the health issues I have listed over here. So, if you are facing some of these things, Please stop consuming it because most of the some of the people can be allergic to amla and these are the listed thing that happens. You can use amla in the form of trifla tablet. There's a tablet known as trifla. You can take that and in powders form also to avoid any of these side effects. Dilute amla powder in warm water with a teaspoon of honey and then consume it. I, I hope I gave you some important information about amla and try consuming it. Uh, if you don't have any side effects, you don't have any allergies of it. And let me know what are the results in comment section. So guys, I hope you all like this video. Do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Also press the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I post a video. This is Varun Lalani signing off.